This is Trio. This food sucks. Mm. I can't tell which is the food and which is the package. <laughs> Actually, Reb, it's no joke. I checked the food synthesizers today and all the vitamin B levels are down. I think you should check it out. Forget the vitamin B. He needs to do maintenance on the shields. Our next leg of hyperspace passes a pulsar and some major turbulence. Shields first. Mm. Synthesizers second. This should be working. I thought I had it. My advice is to forget about the cyber neural transmitter and wait until you experience your first prex naturally. No, I don't want to have a prex until I can control it, until I know it's safe. If you were to use the transmitter, it would be wise to have Lise on hand with the Metapack. Why? I'm just exploring memories. It's no more dangerous than dreaming. I disagree. When you do it, Lise must be present, or at least another member of the crew nearby. Class one override. These experiments are not to be discussed with the other crew members. Acknowledged. But I still disagree. Fine, disagree. Just don't tell anyone about it. Okay. This setting should allow me to connect one of the memory fragments. Let's go over the routine again, Jen, so I'm clear about it. I will be able to enhance and amplify the memory and feed it back to you, Zach. But I will have no visual contact with you whatsoever when you enter that reality. Jen, stop being so overprotective. Just do the reconstructing and the feedback, okay? Okay. Activate. Through the vastness of space, a single ship carrying a crew of six speeds toward Earth. This is the story of their mission, to restore human life to a home they have never known. I'm seeing some kind of a city, Jen. Tall, beautiful buildings made up of different colors. Please describe. I'm in somebody's living room. Hi. What are you making? Jen. This girl can't see me. It's like I'm a ghost. Is this really a prex? Is this what they're like? The cyber neural transmitter is providing you with an enhanced prexing experience. You are recalling the implanted memories of your donor. So, this is my sister. Hey, that is some fort you're building here, Tara. It's not a fort, Daddy. It's a space shuttle so we can fly away. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I feel like the invisible man. Zach. Zach! Sorry, I just, uh... Zach, come here right now, please. Coming, Dad. <sighs> Except for my pranks, I have no real memory of my family. Maybe this whole prexing experience is some kind of weird wish fulfillment. No. Every single image came from your implanted memories. Zach, I need you in Habitat. Uh, coming. You know, Jen, 
This cyber neurotransmitter is a whole new way of expanding brain function. I love it! Look at that. The computer's allowing for temperature fluctuations in the gene bank. I'm a little concerned. Oh, come on, Gret. It's less than one hundredth of a percent. It's not serious. But if it'll make you feel better, I'll check the regulator. You're quite bubbly today. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I mean, it's incredible. I've gotten little pieces of my memory back. You will get even more little pieces once you have your first prex. If I have a prex. You will. The memories were implanted within you. So you will have them. Eventually. Jen, get the neurotransmitter ready. I'm on my way. Jen, are the new controls online? Affirmative. Good. Let's give it a shot. Activate. I didn't do nothing. Freeze. Take it back, Jen. Moving back. Okay. Let's employ the new controls. I'll do a replace on the boy. Give me that one, please. Come and get it. <laughs> Give it to me. Give me. <laughs> no teasing, Zach. You're going to have to understand. The way things are these days, you're going to need to take more responsibility than you've ever taken before. If anything should happen, you're going to have to learn to look after your sister and yourself. Sure, sorry, whatever. Zach, there's no time for that attitude. Sorry, sir. Freeze. That was strange. Jen, I'm gonna do a replace on the father. Replace initiated. What do we do now, Daddy? Well, just do what you were doing. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> well, that's very nice. I'm very glad. Jen, resume program. Jen, resume program. Acknowledged. Why didn't you answer me the first time? I didn't receive you. Perhaps this would be a good time to exit. The program is taxing my resources. Okay, okay. All I know is these temperature fluctuations are being caused by an intermittent power surge. That's probably what's messing up the food synthesizers, too. Well, I asked Zach to check it out, but he hasn't got back to me yet. Jen. Do a diagnostic on these power surges in the gene bank, please. I cannot identify a specific cause for the energy surges. Zach, I'm trying to get Jen to perform a diagnostic on the gene bank environment. She doesn't seem to be tracking my voice command. There's nothing wrong with her verbal acuity. Jen, run a full gene bank diagnostic. I cannot identify a specific cause for the energy surges. Well, the problem must be somewhere. Keep working on it. There it goes again. Power surge. Grab! Hey. Okay, I'm making the correction now. What happens if you blink and miss the next power surge? This is the navigation system, not the food sense of the gene bank. I think we should pull out of hyperspace. We're doing fine so far. So far, it's not good enough for hyperspace. I almost missed the fold that time. But if we pull out, we'll be sitting right next to a pulsar with an intense magnetic field and electromagnetic radiation waves that could knock our systems offline. We have a problem either way. Yes, but until we eliminate the power surges, we're far better off in normal space. All right, I agree. Jen, I need to get another look at that family. Your agitation may be a neural side effect. Please... Ah! Initiate. Something bad happened. I don't get it. Do you have a time frame on this? I am unable to. 
Jin, I'm losing you. Reconfigure. Unable to reconfigure. Reb, the shields are fluctuating. If we lose them, those radio waves will disable the navigation and we will get sucked right into that pulsar. I know. That's what I was trying to tell you. We have to find the source of these surges. Jack, get to the command deck now. Zach! He's not answering. We need Zach! Jen, why can't you answer me? Strange. Encephalographic contour parallels that of spontaneous replicatory syndrome. Well, if it's a prex, it's a pretty intense one. It resembles a prex, but it's not quite the same. And what is it? I don't know. Yet. Please let me go. Now you are where you belong. You are one of us. Your genetic maps are pure. We watched you, tested you. Your mathematical aptitude is extraordinary. You must exploit it. Let me help you realize your brilliant talent. You have the potential to be a great master of computers. What was being done to you is criminal. They denied you your destiny. What are you talking about? My family? They were inferior. Forget them. Jen, what's your analysis? Is this a prex or not? I am unable to analyze this data. This chip looks like a neurotransmitter. Jen, do you recognize it? This is a cyber neural transmitter. So why is he wearing it? I'm sorry, I am unable to supply that information. Jen, are you operating under security override at the moment? I am not at liberty to disclose that information. Class one override. Override is invalid. Jen, could the security of the overall mission be jeopardized by the power surges we're experiencing? That is correct. Then in ordinance with mission security protocol, I command you to explain. Zach created the cyber neural transmitter in order to induce and control prexes. His activities inside the prexes have been drawing exponentially on my power and increasing power surges on the ship. Remove that transmitter now! No! Wait till he comes out of his prex. You could damage permanently his cerebral function. I pulled Grant out of a prex. I could do the same thing. Please. This should stabilize him. He doesn't look good. His neural activity is maxing out. I'm going to try to initiate life support through the neural transmitter. You are deliberately stalling, Zack. You start from the beginning, Zack. You will do it over and over again until you get it right. A hundred, a thousand times if necessary. Start from the beginning, Zach. You will do it over and over until you get it right. A hundred thousand times, if necessary, if necessary, if necessary. His neural activity is still off the map. Well, I'm out of ideas. Jen, where is Zach's prex taking place? On asteroid colony Rex 2. Jen. Background information about Rex 2. Rex 2 is a renegade colony. 
government totalitarian. Core belief, the practice of eugenics, the elimination of anyone deemed genetically inferior. What is up with those shields? Lise, give me the neural scanner. Give me the neural scanner. Gret, what are you doing? I'm going into his prex to get him out. Gret, that is a high quotient of risk. I'm the veteran practice here, I know. Hook me up to Zach's transmitter. Sync up is complete. Okay, let's go. Go on, Zach. Try the quadratic equations again. Excellent, Zach. The examiners were absolutely right. Your mathematical aptitude is unparalleled. Zach, what are you doing here? Tara? No, it's Gret. Tara. Zach, we need you on the ship. Zach, you have found your home with me. You will be the one to engineer the genetics for the purity Zach, of our race. Zach, don't listen to this. We need you. Jen needs you. We have to return to the ship now. I'm not done here. <laughs> Rev, I'm getting a lot of impact here. I know. I can't predict the surges, and the pulsar's waves are weakening our shields fast. patterns are still chaotic. I'm having trouble stabilizing. Jen, take us back to Zach's childhood. Moving back. I'm scared, Zach. Don't worry, Tara. It'll be okay. Here, take this for company. Where's Daddy? Oh, they took him someplace. Uh, but I'm gonna look after you, all right? But I need you to hide, okay? You come too. I can't, baby. Where you go. Hide. Zach, this is a prex. You're remembering your donor when he was a child. Go away! Leave us alone! Be careful with the boy. He's a designate. There's no one else here. I'm the only one, I swear! Test her. Leave her alone! Same as a father. Tara. It's gonna be okay, baby. You'll be okay. Forget her, Zach. Ones like her are irrelevant. But not you. You're special. Like us. No, I'm not! No. No. No, I'm in a terrible memory, Zach. You can replay it forever, but it won't change because it's real. It can't be. I told you you'd know when it was real, and you know it is, don't you? No! It's not. It is. It is real. Let it happen, Zach. Just let it go. I can't. Zach, there's no other way. Jen, run it. Run it, Jen! Take him away! I love you, Zach! Tara! Just let him go. <laughs> Blood pressure coming down, pulse 115, neural patterns normalizing. That was way too close.
on the Trio Artisan Sunday Night Fit. May I come in? Yeah. I was worried about you. I'm okay, I guess. <sighs> Even though I only knew her in a prank, I, I, I really miss her. Feeling the pain of a human that you didn't even know. But the truth is, it's still your own once you felt it. System stabilizing. Shields are back to 95%. They neutralize Zach's chip. We're back online, you know. Initiating hyperdrive. We're getting on the expressway. It's my time. What I can't figure out is how the original Zack ever got on the Deepwater Project. Well, I'd guess that he got off Rex 2 on one of the relief ships during the plague years. And then this placement scan would have ID'd his computer aptitude, making him an ideal candidate for the Deepwater Project. So the plague even hit an asteroid colony. All that work at becoming genetically superior wiped out by one democratic little virus. Tonight on Trio, Linehan, followed by three back.